Do you wanna? Give me the signal. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donovan King, and I am in charge of an organization called Irish Montreal Experiences, where we do things like guided walks about the famine's impact on the city, pub crawls, uh, and all sorts of other Irish events. Uh, now today, unfortunately, I'm going to be speaking with you about a rather difficult experience that some of us have been having in an organization called the Irish Monument Park Foundation, of which I am the official historian. Uh, I wrote a lengthy paper which is currently being used by Hydro-Quebec and the REM uh, for their construction operations in the vicinity of our Famine Cemetery at the Black Rock. Now today I want to talk a little bit about this <coughs> statue which has been toppled of Sir John A. Macdonald because in Montreal we have an awful lot of racist and genocidal statues. And uh, Now this statue has been targeted over the years, it has been painted on many occasions, it has been beheaded uh, in 1992 uh, by uh, supporters of the FLQ and of course it was toppled here uh, just a few days ago in Montreal. Now it was toppled by average citizens uh, after a petition circulating that actually garnered about 65,000 citizens who signed the petition. Now the problem is the Irish Monument Park Foundation, one of my co-directors, <clears throat> decided to actually write a counter petition against this uh, and uh, you know, I told him, I said, that would be like sending in someone to a Black Lives Matters protest and screaming out, Blue Lives Matters. Uh, I'm going to actually read to you a little bit from what was written by Mr. Fergus Keyes. He wrote, recently a petition is circulated to remove the statue of Canada's first Prime Minister. At best, this will result in simple revisionist history. Now, I propose that the real revisionist history happened in 1895 when they actually dug up St. Antoine Cemetery. They removed the bodies of the Catholics in this cemetery, including the Irish, the French, and some indigenous people as well, to install this genocidal and racist monument. So the real revisionist history happened in 1895, and thank goodness it has since been removed. Now, when I complained to Fergus Keyes about this overt racism on behalf of our organization, he actually tried to recruit people on our page, he wrote to me, and I quote, I seriously suggest that you search out professional mental health care ASAP. He then proceeded to block me from communicating with anyone in our organization, despite the fact that I am the official historian. Uh, so this is a call to action to Fergus Keyes and Victor Boyle to immediately unblock all of the people who are anti-racist within our organization, as well as the others who've been blocked, including some of our own disabled members, simply for having a political conviction. I mean, these things are protected by the Charter of Human Rights. I'm also calling on Mayor Valerie Plant to hold a public consultation so we can begin addressing this in consultation with the First Nations and with all of the local citizens uh, to find a way, an appropriate way, to deal with all of this visual pollution in the city, such as dumping it into the harbor for a scuba park, uh, placing them in museums or archives, 